Hello everyone and welcome back to Rail Transit Improvements, where I plan new ways to improve transit connections across whatever city I feel like talking about today. And today, that city happens to be Colorado Springs, the second largest city in Colorado. This is my plan for a streetcar light rail network, or right now it's just one line, that would run from downtown Colorado Springs to the airport. So let's just get started with the showcase. Uh, the line, which is the blue line, starts here at Colorado Springs Airport, runs along Fountain Boulevard for most of the line, and then goes through this downtown loop corridor, and then jets up to the Colorado College, the Fine Arts Center, and then over to Shooks Park along a bike trail here. That's the whole line, and if I click on it, it will have 15 minute frequency during off peak hours and 10 minute frequency during peak hours. And there are 12 stops on the line from end to end. Here we have the three rail corridors, the uh, seven mile long track out to the airport, the three mile long track, that is the single track downtown loop, and then the one mile long extension up to the art center so let's get going with the stations this is the first station at colorado springs airport obviously let me switch the map here and this station would be in this kind of area around this empty land here Either the station would let out and then you could walk right into the airport this way or you'd walk along the sidewalk here and then into the airport. Either way, it would be very convenient. This would be a huge thing. I personally, I love Colorado Springs Airport. It's always much faster to fly out of here than Denver if you're in the area. There are never security lines. It is a great little airport. It is a only domestic airport, but I feel like it's growing and a rail connection here would just make it even better. Heading west on the blue line, we're going to get to this tunnel section that goes underneath one of the runways as well as like these hangars here. This would be probably one of the more expensive parts of this light rail system to be built, but would definitely be possible. And then the light rail will come out onto Fountain Boulevard, which just like a lot of these transit designs, half of the road will now be dedicated to light rail usage, and then uh, it'll narrow down the lanes used for cars, and then Fountain Boulevard here will just be one lane each way for cars. One lane eastbound, one lane westbound. So the blue line continues along Fountain, and then over to the next station, which is here, the Fountain and Power Station. This would be really helpful station for these hotels here, some industry and neighborhoods and apartments, all of which would be within walking distance of this station. There's a lot of open land here as well that could be developed. This would be a very useful station, especially for uh, tourists or those just getting in from the airport, that they can just hop on a train from the airport and take it right over to a hotel or to something else. And this would be a great station. So then let me switch the map back. We're going to go to the next station, which is, let's see here. This is the next station, Academy Park, which would be near a business area, near some other residential stuff. And then as it continues along Fountain, the next station will be here, Fountain and Shasta Station. This would serve a large area of apartments and residential stuff, as well as some retail that already exists. There's a bridge over the road here, and that could be utilized in the station as well. And then the next station is Union Boulevard, another older residential area, neighborhood and also this big field that could be developed in the future into a more dense transit-oriented area. And then the next station is 
hillside station right next to the hillside community center and these parks and another useful station to access the neighborhoods here and then finally the train will make its way to the downtown loop uh, which there will be one station here at nevada avenue south there's already some more dense urban development going up right here so a station to these spots would be pretty useful and now we start on the loop and the way that the loop works if i go up to here you'll see that the trains go north on cascade east on willamette south on tejon and west on fountain so the the train will go this way and then up this way and we have twin stations like these where you have the northbound station here and the southbound station here so the first stop will be uh, the downtown south station on the northbound track and then it will go to the downtown central station and then the downtown north station all of these stations are in areas that are pretty walkable already or could be adapted very well into transit accessible areas this is like the center of colorado springs so all of this in an urban setting would be undoubtedly useful stations then the blue line will continue up to the college for college students in the arts center there's also an event center here which would bring even more crowds onto the train so that they can just take the train here instead of driving uh, so that station is here the colorado college arts center station and then the train will head east on cache la pruder street i think that's how you say it i could be wrong i'm not very good at french and then it ends here at shooks park station where it will connect into shooks park these neighborhoods here a middle school uh, for some reason i thought that was a high school but other schools as well as the shooks run trail here which continues up north and having a rail line that connects into biking infrastructure and other trails like this will make it much easier to access the train even if you're not necessarily located right next to a station and that's the rundown of the whole line pretty much it's a decent sized line but it's not the largest in the world and i feel like this one single line would be massive in improving transit ridership in colorado springs now during my time in colorado springs i have taken the bus every now and then and i've actually found the bus to be decently reliable but a rail connection would just make it all that much better and i feel like the trains that should run on this network should be kind of modern streetcar trams kind of like these caf urbos and then this section here is where i think a potential maintenance facility could be on the site of this u-haul uh but it doesn't need to be there it would just be somewhere along this airport corridor now colorado springs is by definition a mid-sized city where it's not as big as denver or like a metropolis but it's definitely not a small town either in Europe, mid-sized cities tend to have better rail connections than mid-sized cities in the U.S. Mid-sized cities in the U.S. tend to usually not have any transit other than maybe a bus network. Uh, so I feel like a rail connection here would really put Colorado Springs at the like leading edge of mid-sized cities when it comes to transit connections in the United States. Anyway... That is all I have for today. In the future, I may add a couple more lines to this fantasy transit network. So until the next video where I design more transit to more places. Bye.